right, guys, welcome back to another video. We have a couple of things to go over today to start off the weekend. The first thing we're going to talk about is Microsoft and Capcom games coming over to the Xbox console. As we know, some of the older games that have been brought back in compilations have been missing the platform. But before we continue, if you enjoy daily gaming news and content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and check out my Spotify link is in the description so a couple of weeks ago maybe a month ago or so marvel vs capcom was announced and it was a huge moment i mean they were bringing back the older games the marvel vs capcom collection a lot of people have been wanting this from capcom for a while they've put out many other compilations and a lot of those compilations have actually been on xbox i own a bunch of them and i pretty much buy all of them that do release but marvel vs capcom was one that people have wanted and it was really exciting when they announced it there's a lot of hype going around but there was one thing that was clearly missing and that was an xbox release and because of that there was a lot of speculation and a lot of rumors going around and kind of just made up stuff that capcom didn't like xbox and they did not want to work with xbox anymore which obviously made absolutely no sense when you look at the games that are on xbox you look at games that come onto xbox game pass they just released a day one game onto xbox game pass so that made absolutely no sense and there was a lot more to the story and we talked about what was really going on and it had to do with the mt framework for the xbox one just not being there anymore and there's no pipeline to get these games because one of the key things for example with marvel vs capcom was the fact that this was not actually releasing on the playstation 5 it was releasing on the ps4 and then via backwards compatibility was playable on the ps5 and then we got even another fighting game that was skipping xbox which was snk vs capcom svc chaos and it all i think came down to that same reason and it does come down to that same reason that is the empty frame there's no pipeline to get these games in development through the the xbox protocols and stuff and then released on to the current xbox platforms and this person had a really good tweet back when this was all going down with marvel vs capcom and listing all of the games that were missing on xbox and they were all empty framework games and people were wondering well why was this game on it and why was this one not there and it's generally because if it's using the re engine it will end up on the xbox platform and one of the things that i thought xbox needed to do at this point was just kind of get this worked out like find a way for capcom to bring their games over to the xbox platform it's a no-brainer and it's worth that investment as a lot of people do want to play these games and it looks like that may actually be happening we don't know a timeline and how long this will take and if it even will be able to get done but this was revealed here via the Xbox 2 podcast at Windows Central, Jez Corden, saying via unnamed sources that Microsoft is actively working with Capcom to try and solve this empty framework issue so those games could finally be released on the Xbox console. And they say the report doesn't take when Microsoft believes a solution can be found to fix a problem. But if they are trying to resolve the issue with Capcom, we could see these missing re-release games on the Xbox platform sometime in the near future. And and that's what I'm hoping. I mean, I hope it's not that big of a thing to do to just get that pipeline available for these games to be released, even if it's just on the Xbox One, then again, available on the series consoles via backwards compatibility. Just open it up so that games like this, compilations like this that do want to be released on every single platform will have that ability. I doubt it's really going to take a crazy amount of extra development at this point to get them to release on the platform. But once that pipeline does open up, we will hopefully see these games on the Xbox platform because there's definitely a crowd out there that will want to go and pick up and buy those games now we have a rumor here about some more games potentially coming over to xbox game pass and this is via nate the hate who has been known for leaks and giving information about when games will be dropping and one of those here is that mafia will be coming over to xbox game pass next month in fact the mafia definitive edition they say is coming over to xbox game pass in august and again via nate the hate and reset error this is an awesome a remake definitive edition of this game i played through it is is really cool so that'd be a big thing i mean there's lots of rumors now about games that are supposed to be coming over to xbox game pass we've obviously got the mw3 call of duty that did drop on july 24th 
then there was Dave the Diver that was supposed to be dropping as well. Now we're hearing about this. And um, I mean, the second half of this year from Game Pass, only from first party, but also the third party stuff is going to be really, really fun uh, to continue to play. And there's so much stuff coming over to Game Pass. I don't know how people are going to be able to play through it all. But if you don't care about Game Pass, and you don't care about Xbox and you are excited for Astrobot. I mean, I'm pretty excited for this game. I love platformers. I, I think this game looks very good. And even though it isn't a, a, the per, one of those premier PlayStation titles that people would expect from their first party series, I'm happy they did something different here and got away from like that third person narrative cinematic style of game. And they're giving us something that just looks fun. And now there is eight minutes of actual gameplay that has appeared online. They say the footage was captured by A9VG from China Joy, which is currently being held in Shanghai. And the demo showcase in the footage, the same shown at the press at the Summer Games Fest last month. And you can see here eight minutes of that whole game if you do want to get another look at exactly what this game is going to be like, how it's going to play. There's like a boss fight in there. And everything. I, I think this game will be a lot of fun to play. I will eventually end up playing Astro Bot. Like I said, I'm a big fan of platformers. And my favorite games from PlayStation generally are coming from Insomniac. And those are far more gameplay focused games than the major third person narrative games. You're thinking like Ratchet and Clank and the Spider-Man games that they have been releasing recently. And then you also think about a game like Sunset Overdrive, which... It was an Xbox exclusive last generation, which was one of my favorite games of the last generation. It's just a shame that I don't think we will be seeing that one coming back anytime soon, ever since they did get bought up by PlayStation. Now, if you're a GTA 5 fan, I mean, this game has been literally released everywhere. It has been on Xbox Game Pass, but it looks like it is going to now be coming to PC Game Pass in the future if this rumor is true. This is a rumor from Tez2 on Twitter saying that Rockstar Games is preparing GTA 5 to be playable via Xbox's PC Game Pass for future availability. They say the game used to be available on Xbox Game Pass before it was removed earlier this year. It lasted six months on the service before it was taken down. And a reason for the game's removal from the service was never provided after it happened. It was also removed from PlayStation Plus catalog early this year. I feel like GTA 5 has been in the revolving door on Game Pass more than once. I could be wrong, but we will see here if it does come back and it does come into PC Game Pass. Now, if you are a fan of Halo Infinite, which I am a major fan of Halo Infinite, I think it is the best playing halo that we have ever gotten of course there's the whole story of the content and the multiplayer at launch just wasn't enough and people dropped off and if people are still out there saying halo infinite is a bad game it's probably because they haven't picked it up and played it since it first released back in 2021 they just haven't even opened their eyes to trying it or giving it another chance because the game itself is a phenomenal halo it's just unfortunate they botched the multiplayer launch of it now there's done a couple of things with halo infinite which was getting away from the seasons and just going to operations and it had me thinking that they were winding down the development of halo infinite we've also heard that they are working on multiple different halo projects as well so you would think there would be less people working on halo infinite and they're getting ready to transition to whatever is to come next in the halo universe well we kind of have an update here and this is from john you check the community manager at 343 and uh, at the uh, Halo Championships. And he says here that 343 Industries, uh, or this is a tweet saying 343 Industries community manager John Uchek wants Halo fans to know that 343 is working on future projects and continuing to support Halo Infinite. 343 is trying to do as much as they can where they can while they have teams working on the future project. And we can kind of just listen exactly to what he says so you get it from his mouth started with an announcement of hey we're working on future projects i will also want to make sure people know we are continuing to support halo infinite as you see with this update we're trying to do as much as we can where we can while we still have teams working on various projects here at the studio but very excited for fleetcom to arrive next week new modes new forge updates weapon tunings right we're taking our time and we're showing that we we care we want to make sure we're listening to the players right that's where all these updates come from uh, and I'm just excited for the future this year. So there you have it. I mean, they're still working on it, whatever that means. We don't have a timeline or whenever we're going to get the next Halo game. And I'm sure at that point, they will slowly start to wind it down. I think the biggest question for a lot of people is, is it a mainline Halo coming next or is it just smaller shoot offs like they've done in the past? 
and then they'll keep Halo Infinite as that mainline game for a few more years until, let's say, the next Halo Infinite 2 or Halo 7 or whatever you want to call it comes out. I mean, there's so much in this universe that they created, even in the single player campaign, that they could continue to expand on, add more biomes and and characters and things. There's a lot they could do. So I wouldn't mind seeing that because, I, like I said, I think the gameplay is the best in the series. But there's also the thing that they potentially are moving to Unreal 5. So that may change everything in the future for Halo Infinite. And finally, we will end things off here. And talk about the 360 marketplace because it is now officially closed. This is the day that they are ending it off, that they are closing it off. And if you didn't pick up any of those games that were being listed, a lot of games went on sale. You may not be able to access them anymore if there's no physical version of it. And you could have only downloaded it digitally via the Xbox 360 marketplace. Those games are kind of gone into the abyss. And you have Larry Herb here, as we know, it's Major Nelson, formerly of Xbox, saying almost 19 years on, all good things must come to an end. We are in the final 24 hours or so of the Xbox 360 marketplace. It was my pleasure sharing all the thousands of marketplace sales and updates I've given over the years. Thanks for having fun playing fair and filing feedback so kind of a sad day because the 360 for a lot of people was the golden age of xbox it was at this point probably their most successful console that they ever did put out and it just really was a, a great generation one of the best and probably up there as my favorite console although i have to say like the series x with all the backwards compatibility and everything in there and the load times and stuff i would say it overall is a better console but the 360 has a, a very very soft spot in my heart as that generation that time it's now it's all gone like it's it's been a couple generations here since it but it is all gone now officially as you're not going to be able to jump on there and buy any more of those games and again brings in that question of game preservation the digital future and when physical games do go away because they are going to go away what games will we just never be able to access and play anymore? But I'm going to end the video there, guys. If you did enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.